Hello. Let me see. Hi. Um, we're going to be dyeing Lily today. She's ready. I still have to um, get some foil ready, but I'm going to go through um, how to split the cords before dyeing them. She already had her bath, and I haven't done any um, cord splitting since Monday when she got her bath. So um, I will be able to show you some growth there that will help. Um, but yeah, let's do it. All right. Yeah. Okay, Christine. You're fine. So these are the colors I'm using while my assistant gets ready. We're doing orange, purple, red, green, yellow, blue. All right. Just hold it. I'm going to split her cords first so they see what that is. So you got a good angle. See how the hair grows together? We just split it apart. And you want to make sure you can see the skin. And if you can tell that the cords don't mat to the skin. Let me zoom in a little bit. I might have to click on it to focus. There we go. And they're not pulling on her skin at all. They're really thin, so it's not huge clumps. When you have the fatter cords, that's when you need to be careful of the skin pulling into the cord. But these are just pretty loose. And she doesn't mind it. I think she prefers this over brushing her other hair, to be honest. Every time I pull my hairbrush out, she runs. So, while I'm doing this, I can tell you a little bit more about myself. I am third generation groomer. I learned from my dad-ish, who learned from his uncle. Um, but my dad is also a grooming instructor, so most of his students ended up marrying him for some reason. So I pretty much learned from my stepmoms. Um, but I've been around this my whole life. My dad, um, he showed corded poodles. And that's where all this started. And why not have a colored one? If there's any questions, you guys can go ahead and ask. I'll let you know if any questions come across. Cool, thank you. We're almost done with this. You want the hair to be really clean so the dye comes out the color you want it. It's easy to do it in like lines so you know what you've done, what you've split already, and what needs to be split. To do this, you really do need a calm dog who really doesn't mind grooming. All right. All right, so we're going to section off the colors. Coloring. I'm going to do a couple of her roots that have outgrown. So I haven't done um, put any more color on this hair since June, I would say. So she's got about an inch of growth. We have some of Germany watching. Oh, is it Aaron? Aaron. It's Aaron. Yeah, if you guys want to tell me where you guys are all watching from, um, that would be cool. I did post it all over, and we are in a global group. All right, so I'm just going to, we'll do this up. So whatever I am not cording or coloring, I'm going to put in little rubber bands. Sorry, splitting drugs to me, I think it's so satisfying. If you have a corded dog, you understand.
Okay, so the ears today, we might get to the ears. It's a lot of work, but we'll see where we are time-wise after we do her, her head and top knot. So I'm going to glove up and put my dye in the place. We'll just get Lily on here to say hello. <laughs> hello. Say hi, Lily. Say hi to everybody. Where are you? She's in there somewhere. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to prep my foil real quick. So when I do my foil, I mean, we're at the bottom of the barrel here, but it's really cheap. I got this at Sally's. He comes in like this, and for the cords, I just split it in half. Honestly, guys, I did have a dog to bring this morning, so I was not prepared, and I did a little prepping. Andrea Zelinski is excited to see your process. Uh, honestly, um, if you can dye regular hair, cording, dyeing cords is a walk in park. It's so much easier than dyeing regular brush hair. Sorry guys, I'm going as fast as I can. This should be good for now. Yes, I'm a working mess. Make sure you shake your bottles so there's no separation. I'll go with that orange. I try not to put the colors that look alike next to each other because that can get confusing. Alright, Steam Pop Parlor says grooming and washing from Pasta Robles, California. Ooh. I went to do a Rasta color version when we finish our corded mini grand championship. Oh yes. Definitely post that. I wanna see that. I was thinking, um, because we do grooming started doing grooming competitions, um, for creative um, I want you dye the dreads. Honestly, you can't go back from that because it's not just like the regular coat where you can cut it out. You don't want to cut into your dreads that took for a year and a half in now almost. And after all that growth, you don't want to just cut it off. Um, I was actually thinking about the Rasta look as well, but I was thinking about maybe wrapping the cords in hemp to hide the color and do like a red, green, yellow look. Okay, so I really don't lay anything down. I kind of just freehand it all. We're going to start with, start with green. So, and like I said, I haven't done anything to her since June, so the colors are going to look a little bit more vibrant than the colors she already has. Do the roots first. Bit. It's okay if the color gets a little bit, like you see there, because when the cords grow together, um, after I do this one, I'll kind of show you what I mean. When they grow together, some of the uh, the hair 
gets transferred to the other cord oh, and you'll have a little bit of a different color on the cord from the other hair. So you really want to saturate it and let it soak. So when and if you cut the tips of the cords, um, it will be colored all the way through. So I just, this foil is my best friend. And it takes a long time to do this, so we do sections at a time. That's why I'm not sure if we are going to be able to get her ears done today, just because her whole head might take, you know, three, four hours. So, let's go. Always have a towel on standby. And then what I like to do is kind of fold the ends over and twist it. So when we rinse, all I have to do is pull the foil down instead of unfold. So now we're doing right. There's many of different ways you guys can do this. This is just my way. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you. So when the cords go together, can you, I zoom in on something? Yeah. You can if you want. Well, that's a bad example. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, okay, like this one. This one will grow together, and you can see some of the orange that's on it. It's just because when they, they grow and they catch, they're kind of like Velcro. So they'll stick together, and then when I pull them apart, you'll see like an orange residue. But for the most part, they look, it'll look, it looks really good when they're done. So you don't really have to worry about the tiny little hairs that touch it like that. Nicole Beckham says, so cool. Okay, I really like her. She's a creative bloomer too. Hi, Becca. <laughs> Beckham, I Tiffany Tate wants to know how long your pup has been in cords. Um, so I started courting her as soon as I got her, which was in June of last year. And um, she was about uh, seven all over, head to toe. Um, so we started from scratch. And all I did was um, I started cutting out the pattern that I wanted. And um, from there, it just, I let it, you know, pretty much do what it does, meaning not brushing it. I wash her weekly. That is key, is weekly baths, especially when they're just starting out because you really want them clean. And um, you don't want them collecting dust and dirt and debris and hair. Now, she is a shop dog, meaning I bring her to work with me just about every day. So other dog hair gets caught in, in her hair. That was my, um, honestly, the reason why I wanted to dye her was because I thought the, the hairs that were getting stuck on her, mainly the black hairs, made it look dirty and I didn't like it. Um, and I always wanted, you know, I wanted a corded poodle, but then after I had a corded poodle, I wanted something more unique you know, why not color the cords? So that's what, this is what we got. 
But, um, but anyways, yeah, so her cords have been growing since June of last year from nothing. I have not trimmed these yet. Um, the ones that are colored are actually trimmed, uh, but the, um, the white cords have not been trimmed yet. Um, Power on. Good question. I, um, what else? This is what I was afraid of. Not knowing what to say. <laughs> but I love doing this. I've been, you know, doing it pretty much my whole life. I've tried doing other jobs, but for some reason, it always comes back to grooming. I love it. It's a passion. Definitely a lifestyle. Tiffany wants to know if there's any tips for getting the softer ear hair to cord. <laughs> well, Tiffany, when you figure that out, please let me know. Because the ears are still a work in progress. In just a second, when I'm done with this yellow, <clears throat> we can look at her ears. Um... They have been the hardest so far, besides from the tail. The ears and the tail. Everybody wants to just cord ears and tail. Well, unfortunately, ears and tail take the longest. See, this was orange from this cord right here when it grew together. So you'll see that throughout the dying process. I'm doing so good, princess. Yes, you are. She's such a good girl. Pamela Sheffield says, floating with the weekly bath makes the hair wrap this, the formation of the cord. Yes, so, um, Miss Pam, she is actually one, one of many stepmothers. <laughs> I love you, Miss Pam, miss you. Um, so she has been my guide throughout this whole process as well. Um, this is actually my first poodle I've done as an adult by myself, uh, and um, what, she's, what she's talking about, floating, so the cords that you see here are trimmed. If you float the cords, you don't really have to do trimming. I shaved these cords with a 30, and that's why they look like this. Down at the bottom, there ha it's growth, so I haven't done anything to those. Same with these. If I were to float these in the tub, all these loose hairs would wrap around the cord itself and no trimming would be necessary. They would be um, just natural looking, kind of like this. But, um, <clears throat> but I don't have a tub to float her in, unfortunately. So I unfortunately don't do that, which I wish I did. Um, and I think she'd be very good for it. It's really relaxing. Um, I've seen it done hundreds of times. They just float for about an hour in a tub and um, all these hairs wrap around each other. So you'll split the cords before the bath and then let them float and then after the bath, hairs like these that have like broken off from scratching or rubbing or anything like that will just naturally wrap around. It's much different than people hair. A lot of people ask me how long it took me to form these dreads, meaning go in there and actually, you know, make each one of them. And I just tell them I don't, which I, I don't. It's controlled matting. So as the mats grow together, like you see here, you just split them apart so you can see the skin. And um, it's not pulling on her at all. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure she likes this way better than brushing. 
And of course she has so much hair to brush, so I'd rather pull it apart than brush it too. Okay. Good, good statement. Let me get on this side be easier. So let's do, let me get her a pillow real quick. Come here, princess. Can we lay on this? Okay. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Cook. Cook. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, so pink. I'm not doing pink today. So, we're just going to leave that one. <laughs> I'll come back later. <laughs> no, darn it. I got to get my pink. Sorry. Hold on. I'll take a look at Lily. There she is. She's such a pretty girl. Say hi, Lily. <laughs> so it's nap time. She's just relaxing. It's nap time. She doesn't do anything else in life but nap. And of course, show off. Hmm. She loves to show off. As soon as I pulled the camera out, her tail started lagging. Gang, Opaz and Andrea say, oh my gosh, she is so calm. <laughs> I got really lucky with her. She has been by my side since day one. She automatically knew. She's definitely relaxed. Yes, because this is so torturous. Honestly, why can't someone play with my hair for hours on end? That is like the most relaxing thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Try to get a flip here. There we go. Together. Okay, let's hope this is purple, guys. Uh, okay. It looks blue, but it will be purple. I think the best way also to get clients to purchase coloring in the salon is to just have a dyed dog at the salon. Let them see it firsthand. Uh, this princess here, she'll literally sit on the counter as I'm doing the paperwork at the end of the day. At the end of the day, and everyone thinks she's a darn statue. Or a stuffed dog. She's my best advertisement. I really do love Opal's dye. To be honest, I've never tried the um, Crazy Liberty, but I don't know why you ruin a good thing. Okay, so we need orange, blue, and then we'll start making up our own colors. So I, I'm pretty sure the hardest thing for me is deciding which color comes next. Let's do blue. How many people are watching? What does it say? Uh, I got 12 watching right oh. now. 12. Right, Pamela says the cords also get heavy in weight. When cords become wet, they are heavier. 
They will need assistance to get up from the float because of the weight. Weight of dry cords on a standard poodle in A, and then it cuts off. I can't read the rest of it right now. It's okay. <sighs> Thank you, Miss Pam, for that. I forgot that because obviously we don't float her. I forget the little things. But she's right. They are very heavy. Nikki says this is one of her most favorite designs ever. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I, if you have any uh, advice for me on what I can add to it, please let me know. We're competing in um, next month in November at the Pittsburgh show. And um, her one side is only has the lips on it. It only has the lips on it. And I don't know what to add. There's so much white space. And there's not really, I don't know, Skittles. It's just, do I add more Skittles? <laughs> I don't know. I put vampire lips on her. I was thinking of maybe like a Halloween Skittles. They have this, the Halloween um, um, zombie Skittles out right now. Nikki wants to know if you are MM. M&M's? M oh, M <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. M&M's, I mean, I honestly hate chocolate, but that's not a bad idea. It'd be easy. I can do one side M&M's, the other side Skittles. Um, yeah, I can do something like that. Fold this one, it's a little long. Doesn't want to cooperate. It's thick, it's a thick one. Thank you guys for watching. I know you guys are all probably all busy. What's your day-to-day -day dogs? I mean, we are in the middle of the day on a Thursday. I had to do one myself this morning. I was nervous. I won't get it done in time. But, you know, I'm a pro. <laughs> Alright, ring. I do want to go ahead and thank my assistant here, Miss Christine. She is also my bather and I couldn't do my job without her. You're so sweet. We need more bathers like her in the and world. Pamela wants to know how long the cords have to be in the foil. So, um, the opals takes very quickly. It technically only needs about 20 minutes, but I'll leave it on there. I mean, these are already ready to come off. I mean, how long has the video been going? Um, 20 minutes? I don't know. <laughs> But well, yeah, it's 12.30. Yeah, yeah, we started at 12. Okay, okay. So, yeah, they're technically already ready, but the longer you leave them on, the more vibrant they are. And um, it's not going to hurt her if they uh, stay on longer. It is all vegan dye, I guess you could say. Right? Vegan? Is that the right word? If I'm wrong, please correct me. But um, it's all vegetable-based. Um, it's not going to burn or singe her hair. There are videos out there of groomers making a point by eating the dye. Um, honestly, for me, it's a little too expensive to just eat it. <laughs> so I won't be doing that today. But um, they don't need long. And what you see right now, this color that I'm putting on, that's the color it's going to look when I rinse it off. It it pretty much, on white hair especially, 
um, what you see is what you get. It barely washes out color wise. Um, oh, pause is amazing. But what I'm probably going to do is let it sit for about 30 minutes after I do the last one. Just because the cords, I feel like it takes a little bit longer for the the dye to saturate all the way to the center. Um, that way, when I trim them, the ends, they won't be white to the end. They'll be colored. Okay, let's do this red. And then we'll start with the white ones. Yay, I'm excited for those. I'm gonna add this little hair in there. It's very time consuming. Make sure your dog has been out to potty. <laughs> and breaks. She'll let me know when she wants a break. She's probably sleeping right now. Oh, she's oh, oh no, I'm sorry. She's awake. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Down. Sorry, Miss Lily. Down. Lily. Lily. You want this one? You want this one? Down. Down. Good. Okay. This one, my foil pulled up a little bit. So all I do is just refoil. If it was out just a little bit, I wouldn't mind, but it's about a half an inch. Too much for me. Especially it's a red. Reds are dangerous. They bleed. And I mean bleed, I mean like color-wise. Like all of this is from my red, from the white. See how dirty, dirty it looks compared to like these. Um, you'll find other dogs' hairs in there. You really want to try to keep them clean. Um, the ears take a long time to grow. See, they're not, they don't look like the ones on her head. These need some more time. Pick out any debris. Oh my gosh, the little hitchhikers here are unreal. I need a snood. If you guys have any snood recommendations, please post that in the link below. I am on the market. I need them badly. That's what she says. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Oh! Okay. What are you doing? It's okay, good girl. Go. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now we got a couple more. So then I need to... Go? Hold on. Let me see if my thing... Let me find my One second, guys. Oh. Well, I broke it anyway. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's live. Anything can happen. Your mother loves the paper towel. Rest. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Christensen makes a really nice head rest. I'm just cheap. On a 
honestly, she'll probably, if I buy her the little $65 neck rest for her. She won't want it. She wants paper She will towels. want the paper towels. that's in the area or near here ever wants to help me do this please the more the merrier this takes forever we are uh, right outside of Pittsburgh in Valencia I know it's going to be a very long video, so I understand if you come and go, but we'll try to, um, we'll see, we'll see what, what time it is at the end, and uh, we'll rent, I'll show you guys what I do when I rinse her. Stacy says, this is the greatest thing, Stacy Brown. Thank you, Stacy. The greatest. I mostly get good feedback when I take her out places. At car shows. Tell me your car show story. What do you mean? She was posing for pictures with Oh my gosh, yes. Other it's so funny. Um, I would try to get her a photo with the car so then people would be like, you know, all around her. And then other guys would be like, can you please post or take a picture in front of my car? My car? It was so cute. And it's funny because everybody will be taking, there's, you know, thousands of dollars in, you know, antique cars, and everybody wants pictures of the court of Boodle. It's awesome. Um, some, sometimes people will give, you know, snood comments of, you know, even at the groom shows I've heard it, how these dogs aren't supposed to be like that, that that's torture or cruel to these dogs, not just the color, but the courting in general. And people, a lot of people don't realize that the cords is the most natural form you can have on a poodle. You know, they, they were courting poodles before they were brushing them out. So, I don't get it. Um, just, the nicest thing you do is just smile and ask them if they want to actually look and feel and see how it's not torturing. Just try to educate the nicest way possible. So if you get upset, they're winning and they're not going to want to listen to what you have to say. Your husband says the Ferrari dealership loved her and all the Ferrari. people there instantly forgot about their Ferraris. <laughs> yeah, my husband. And Pamela says charge a fee for Lily's presents and pictures. <laughs> my husband was asking Ferrari to trade her for one. Uh-uh. I take my dog over Ferrari any day. Not just any dog, this baby. She's my princess. She would look good in a Ferrari. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> With the top down and her hair blowing. Yep. That was fun. Alright. The purple is actually looking purple now. I was scared at first. Steam Hunt Parlor says 
they were showing quartered, quartered and in the 20s we added a natural class for brush poodles. Then we dropped the quartered class in the 40s. They would show together till everyone pretty much showed brushed only. Nice. Well, honestly, courting is a lot of work. You would think it's just, eh, let it go, you know, whatever. It's a lot of work. It's the smell is the main thing. Like, she smells like a queen. She, just regular bath. She smells so good. And you kind of have to because I take her out in public. Everyone's touching on her. You want your your masterpiece to smell amazing. And a lot of cords that you see kind of smell mildewy, like a dirty mop. And that's essentially what they are. It's little mop hairs. Um, we're doing green on this one. And I feel like once the smell sets in, it's hard to get that smell out. And the smell that I'm talking about is let's say you know you have a, a dog that drools a lot like a Saint Bernard something like that the neck on the wet slobbery Saint Bernard that's what that smell is that mildewy nasty moldy slobber smell and it's terrible <laughs> you don't want that and it's easy to get like that if you don't properly dry them it takes me about three hours, maybe four hours, to completely wash and dry her. Um, Maria Latham wants to know, how did you get the color out from the first go? I never got the color out. I never will be able to get the color out. We are using um, Opal's permanent dye. Um, so it is not going to just wash out. Um, I haven't dyed these since June, and um, like I said, she gets weekly baths, so the color is still very vibrant and it's not going anywhere. Um, there's some lighter ones down here, but it's still, you know, very orange. This was done with a semi-permanent color, Opaw's color, um, because I ran out of permanent up here, so I used the semi-permanent. And this was also done in June as well. So you can see even the semi-permanent um, is very colorful. And this, you know, you can cut this off and have white hair again, but the cords, you're not going to spend years of cording to just cut color off. Um, so she will be in um, rainbow color as long as I continue to dye her roots. If I wanted her a different color, I would definitely have to cut cut them. Um, I could use a lightener, but even so, these cords are so saturated, they're the color throughout the whole thing. Okay, um, Pamela Sheffield says that the mildew smell comes from not getting the cords dry or the cords that stay moist. Yes, yes. Ugh. So drying, definitely towel dry and wring them out. You gotta wring these things out, but <gasps> ah, good thing for towels. So you gotta take like a handful like this and wring them out like this, just like a mop. Let me take this out. Yeah, so you wanna grab and wring them out so you get all the water. And then, um, so what I do, you're not really supposed to do, but I will take a handful and I will hold the force dryer on there to blow out all the saturated water. Um, but really, a lot of people, I guess you can do it anyway. There's no exact science to washing cords. Um, just getting them dry is key. And that's how I do it. I towel, I wring them out, I towel dry them, and then I blow them with a velocity dryer. And it does take a while. A lot of people will put them um, in a kennel dryer with a fan and just let them dry that way. But even so, that takes a long time. Um, and when you groom 10 dogs a day, you don't really want to <laughs> groom your own dog at the end of the day. So faster is better for, for me anyways. 
Bethany Pate says, hi y'all, currently working and watching. Love this. Thank you for watching. Good to have you. If you have any questions, just let us know. So when it kind of oozes out like that, I just grab another foil. And Maria Latham says, I have a dog coming in at one, but wanted to say I'm I'm school I'm school we groomed a I'm sorry, maybe in school we groomed a Pooley, P U L I. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pooley. And good lord it was a whole day event. Yes, yes, yes. Pooleys. I mean, I only have her head, neck, and ears and tail done. Pooleys, Commodores, their whole body is done and a lot of people have show poodles in cords. So that's a lot of work. It's definitely hours. Um, it's not just something that you can just, you know, well, you can. You can just do it, but you need a, a full day. Open up your whole day, especially if you've never done it before. Okay, we need, so the hard part, is choosing what color comes next. So what I do is I kind of look and see what I have. I want to do a darker color here because we have some dark color. I'm going to do blue there, but then we're going to have to use a yellow next. You don't want this anymore? <laughs> okay. So let's do blue here and then like a yellow here. Try not to move, you know, the dog, Lily. I prefer to move around her, let her be comfortable. Because if they're uncomfortable, it's just going to make your job so much harder to do. And it's just easier if you move. Let the dogs do what they do. Alright, switch. is watching? Oh, I can't. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so... Well, can we, you don't want your pillow? Let me get one that's not so thick. There we go. There you go, Lily. There you go. you reposition she moves the other way. <laughs> Be a silly girl. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> Bring her on the rosy. Alright, so yellow. Oh, you. Get it out of here. I'll tell you what, I'll stay in the front. Oh, what did I just step on? Oh my crap. It's okay. I got more. So, the first couple of ones take the longest. But after you get going, you get going. While the foil sits for those last 30 minutes, um, take her outside, let her run around. The foil pretty much stays in place. I don't have to worry about that. Um, I've never dyed her ears yet, obviously, so um, I might not let her out for that because shaking may be involved.
Uh, I really don't think the foil will go anywhere, even if she did shake. <clears throat> I'm going to let the tape go. Which size are you? Yes, sir. Perfect. Okay. Just If you guys are thinking of any questions, um, feel free to ask. Cords are too thick. I think I said this earlier. You, it's n not comfortable for your pet. You do want smaller ones. The thicker ones just get itchy because they're pulling on the skin. <clears throat> so they're smaller, the better. But then again, the smaller they are, the easier they are to break off. Good save. <laughs> okay, so we're getting a little heavy here. I'm going to cut up these back. Okay. Again, hard part. What color do I do next? All the colors that I'm using too. Um, oh, Caitlin Ganey says hi, Gillette. Hi, Lilith. She, uh, hi, Caitlin. Me and her work together in Florida. She was the one that helped me with uh, my Fourth of July look. Do you remember seeing that? Mm -hmm. I do. And she was had like no hair. Um, we made a pact that if either one of us got put on Pooch Perfect, we'd be taking the other one. I didn't forget about that, Caitlin. Don't you forget either. I'm going to step back just for one second. Okay. Katie. Katie. Okay. She's being shy. Okay, what color should I do next? <sighs> Maybe red. Green? I got green here. Oh, I got green. I'm doing green. You're right. So if I wait over here, I got green here too close.
Thanks, and we will can close that. Thank you, just If you guys are working on a groom dog right now, tell me what kind of dog you're working on. Vicky Vieira is watching. Cup Parlor is working on a Shih Tzu Asian Fusion trim. Oh, cute. I love Asian Fusion. I did a Havanese this morning. Ugh, last time they got clean feet. I'm so glad they didn't get that this time. It's like doing clean feet on a cocker spaniel. Ew. <laughs> says Havanese is another breed being courted now. Yes, it is. Um, uh, Grooming the Courted Coat is a really good Facebook group. Somebody posted a Havanese on there just the other day in full cords, face and all. if you guys have dyed brushed hair this is so much easier I think it's because the sections are already sectioned out I did want to try and do I had the idea of dyeing the roots a different color so as they grew it would be kind of like a two-tone not necessarily ombre but just two different colors, like, you know, red and orange or green and yellow or whatever. But then my husband was like, eh, that's going to be too hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, just because he says that it might be difficult makes me want to do it a little more. But then the more I think about it, <laughs> it's going to be really complicated every time you have to re-dye it. Because instead of just doing this one color now, we'd be doing two colors. And that's just twice the work. And this already takes hours. But it would look really cool. So, maybe next time. Or maybe I can do like just, just the tail like that. Something small. But they're still, you know... I think I counted 52 cords on her tail. Oh my goodness. And her tail doesn't look like there'd be 52 cords there. It honestly looks like there's like 20, 30 maybe. Okay, so let's do... We're going to need some blues and purples.
this took an hour. <laughs> Again, very, very time consuming. I feel like just dyeing hair in general is very time consuming. Cords are not. When I did her, uh, we did the, the lips over here. This was permanent before it was this, semi-permanent. I mean, this took about two hours to do. So, yeah. put music on is that like a thing because there's a lot of awkward silence which is okay <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I think I have like is there something that I have to say like I don't own the rights to this music um, I don't know was it gonna kick us off if I put music on this is also my first live video so I don't know all the rules Andrea says, I think it's not possible. <laughs> oh, okay. So no music. Does anyone have any questions? I, well, I can just talk about myself, I guess, a little more. I'm 30 years old. I worked at Kane's Dog House on and off in Pensacola, Florida for about 10 years. I started off as a bather and um, the owner, Miss Jessica, knew my background and where I came from and, you know, inspired me to do more grooming and uh, she she plays a big part in my career, too, even though she doesn't say she does. She does. And uh, she got me into um, competition grooming as well. She entered, she entered me in my first rescue rodeo. I didn't place, and I was really salty about it, but I definitely have grown since then. And um, we did when um, first place in my first creative with her and her skittle design here so that was really you know empowering too Andrea said that Facebook policies are terrible um, they had a problem with a live demo from Lauren and Facebook removed it due to the soundtrack in the back <sighs> greedy So I'm actually going to rubber on some of this here. Okay guys, we're not even halfway there. Take it out. <clears throat>
You guys can always message me um, through Facebook, direct message. If you guys have any questions, I love to help um, give you my advice. You can give me advice. What else? I'm pretty sure you'll be able to watch this video later after we're done here. So if you're not watching live and you have questions when you're watching later, please just let me know. first time dyeing the roots. I'm pretty sure it's going to match um, from the roots to the already colored hair. I'm not 100% sure on that though, so I guess we're all going to find out together. I think I'm going to sort of an hour and ten minutes in. At the two hour mark, I'm going to stop coloring. We're going to let it sit and then we'll do the rinse process. And um, we'll see how that, how that looks and then I'll let you guys finish off your day. But we probably won't be able to finish or get to her ears. Hopefully we'll be able to finish her top knot. Right. Andrea Castillo is watching from Chile. She wants those br brushes and bras. Brushes and bras. Huh. Bra bras. Let's see. I'm not sure what that is. Brushes? So if you want to look, put your put the phone over here. I'm using all of these came from Opaz. Um, these are older brushes, and these were just sent this morning, yay. Perfect the timing. Design. And maybe my apron will call, so it matches my shirt. Maybe that's what she And I'm wearing loyalty pit um, shirt and pants. Love them. We got a palm mat right here. Um, definitely try to support all the really people out there. I'm going to need her to get...
So I do want to say thank you to Opaws for allowing me to do this little demo um, in their group. I personally watch uh, demos all the time, other groomers, um, and they are really helpful. I don't know how helpful I am with this, but I hope you guys take out something from this. If not, it was still fun to do. Um, but you can never know too much, especially something that you are passionate about and you know honestly grooming it's it's a lifestyle I can't just leave work and that's that's it no I leave work go home think about dogs every time I shop it's what can I buy for the shop what can I get for my dog um, it's definitely a lifestyle um, and it's hard and it's it's easy at the same time. It's very rewarding and stressful also. Just be there for the dogs. It's my best advice. Lynn Lou says thank you. You're welcome. As long as the dogs are comfortable, happy, healthy, that's the goal. I would really like for Lily, I think she would be perfect for this. I don't know how to get in, get my foot in the door, so if anybody has any recommendations, please let me know. But she is a certified service animal. Um, she's got her ID card and everything. Um, so it's, she's not just emotional support, it's actual service animal. I would love to get her to be able to, um, go inside hospitals, children hospitals, um, old folks homes, um, just to, you know, bring cheer and joy to people that, you know, don't have much, um, hospice situations, stuff like that. These people are so down and depressed, you know, they're... They're just not doing good mentally and physically, and I feel like a dog like Lily would definitely brighten their day and their mood, you know, help morale. Um, so if anybody knows how I can get, get into that, please let me know. I think she'd be perfect for it. She definitely would. She's just gonna bounce on her step and... Yeah, she does. She's very yeah. gentle when, when she wants to be. But when she's excited to see you for the first time within an hour, she does try to push you all over the place. Okay, so we're going to be blue here. I do have... Um, I made some stickers of her. If you guys would like one, um, I'll send one to you if you guys just wanna pay like shipping maybe, maybe not, and I can afford shipping. It's only a couple of cents I think, right? How much is a stamp worth? Like 50 cents now I think. Oh, that's ew. Yeah, that's ridiculous. You might have to pay shipping, <laughs> depending on how many people want uh, one. It's pretty light, it might be. But I don't know, I think it's like 50 cents. Um, but whoever wants a Lily sticker, um, I will definitely mail you one. You just have to comment Where are your um, on the page or on the post. Um, there's one. Is there one on the box? Uh, oh, there it is. There she is. Little sticker. Instagram. It's a 3x3 three three sticker, so it's not too big. And if you guys want one, I'll send you one. 
Lynn Liv from La Paz says, a lot of people said the colored pets are easy to be recognized and can be prevented from stealing. Also, it's a perfect idea to be a service dog. I think kids would love her. No, I think so too. Yes, I I actually read something about that. Um, honestly, I think it was on Opaz's website about, you know, people aren't going to steal a colored dog. First off, it's so recognizable. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's so funny, actually. Um, at a pet store where I lived, I was a little messy with that one there, but that's okay. There's a pet store, um, pet supermarket, right by my house, and I work, unfortunately, uh, almost an hour away. So when I die her at home, I take her to the self-serve dog wash um, by my house um, to rinse the color. And there was a groomer there that actually recognized her from Facebook. Oh, wow. And yeah, so they're very cool. recognizable, and, and it's crazy. Um, how small the world is, honestly. Um, we're gonna do orange. This one's gonna be orange, so. Um, what else? Yeah, my cat. So I have two small boys at home, and you know, they're always leaving doors open. My cat gets out, and I um, started panicking, and she, we got her back. But um, I was panicking because she's just your husband. <laughs> he makes me laugh. It's a pet supplies plus, not a pet super. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you for that correction, Greg. Oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> It did have me thinking. I'm like, there's a pet supermarket around here? Okay. Supplies pet supermarket. Oh. Hey, he knew what I meant. And I don't right. know about anybody else. But. Right. <laughs> but anyways, so the cat gets out. And I'm just, you know, my husband and the boys were all really upset. And all I could think about was how she didn't have any color on her. So no one's going to know she was oh. my cat. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean now, she doesn't have color now, but she needs it, and she's going to get it soon. Lin Lu says, wow, I saw a lot of service dogs on TikTok with colors. Their owners want them to be different and provide more joyful for others. Oh, that's wonderful. TikTok. It's blowing up. I'm so behind on social media. I have the app, but I've never opened the app. Yeah, same. <laughs> I mean, I have the app because somebody will send me a TikTok video on Messenger. Exactly. And I have to watch it through that. But that's the only way. But I really would like to get into TikTok more. But, I mean, my life is so filled with, you know, dogs that I don't have time for TikTok. One of these days. I mean, it took me forever to get off of MySpace and onto Facebook in high school. <laughs> Kids nowadays are like, what the heck is MySpace? The internet didn't exist when I was in school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to do this one purple. I got blue on it. So if you ever get a color, like color on another cord, it's okay. This is creative. We're allowed to make mistakes. I just like to use a color that is either close to it or will definitely cover it up. You really wouldn't want to put like a yellow there. Um, so yellow doesn't cover up anything. What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's 
I definitely think um, doing this is therapeutic. Grooming my own dog is very therapeutic. Grooming client dogs is a different situation. But on my own dog, just kind of like a relief. Because I feel like most groomers don't have time to do their own dogs. And honestly, I barely have time to do her. Um, so, <laughs> what she normally gets is just an FFT uh, every month, maybe. I haven't given her a full body haircut since June. Just bath, brush, and no color. But, honestly, I'm tired of washing and drying all her hair. <laughs> so she needs a haircut soon. Uh, she's probably a good, I don't know, six to eight inches. Like your hand gets lost in her fur. <laughs> she's so soft though too, I don't know. I'm honestly, I haven't trimmed her yet because I'm still trying to decide on the kind of, what kind of design I'm going to add to her coat. And I wanna- Hello. Use. Yeah, we're doing, um, Sherry has the vampire lips on. Um, I'm thinking about a pumpkin, but I just feel like that just, no. I'm thinking maybe a coffin, because I want to keep it, you know, kind of vampire-y, I guess. I want to do a coffin, maybe some spider webs, a bat. And I and I am um, trying to do something that I can just wash out also. Because after Halloween, we have another grooming competition in November. And I don't know. I don't think the Halloween would it just be like, you know, oh, that's old. I want it to look new. If that makes any sense. Okay, what color? What color? We're doing red. Just love these colors. Opaz does make they're, nice colors. They're very vibrant. My favorite thing about Opaz is the red's going to look that red when I rinse it. Sorry about the dog, we are in a groom shop. to take a break. Tiffany Tate says that you are so much neater than when she does it, when she <laughs> dies. Are you dying cords or flat hair, or brushed hair? Honestly, cor coloring corded hair is so much easier than brushed hair. Brushed hair. Brushed hair, yeah. It's difficult. I cry every time almost. 
<laughs> I always feel like it's gonna not look the way I want it to look. And then when I wash it out, I'm like, oh my gosh, why was I so freaked out or stressed out? It's very stressful. The corded hair, it's just so much easier. It really is. It's not getting in, it doesn't really get in the way. You can easily part it. You don't have to comb it. It's just there. She's laying on it right there. Yeah. Her whole body's on it. I can't slide it out. It's okay. Well, that almost looks like a Cheeto. <laughs> hey, it's edible. You want to try it? I have yet to try it. Oh wait, it's coming. Yep. Yeah, I got it. You do. There you go. Nice. Ah. It's slime. But no, it's okay. She's got to take a break for a minute, but have my assistant take her outside to potty. Um, and I'll talk to you guys while I tear foil. Outside? You gotta go? You gotta go? Hold on. <laughs> Here, hold this for just a second. So pretty. She knows it is too. Aw, you sleepy girl. She yeah. started waking up. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Thank you. as possible.
so this box of tinfoil that I'm using, it's, um, it was $11.99 and it came with 500 sheets. Um, and of course I'm ripping them in half, so I have a thousand. I, this is the only box I bought. I've had the, I've had it for two years, about, uh, maybe a year and a half, since I got, since I got Lily. The first thing I dyed was her tail, and my husband was against coloring her cords. He wanted them to be that beautiful white color, but then I did the tail, and he liked it, and he was like, okay, that's it. You know, just leave her neck and keep the tail colored. Well, I only did a couple on her neck, and um, I was actually, funny story actually, okay. So I did a little bit on her neck, just a little bit, and I wanted to enter her into a freestyle, salon freestyle competition. And I was talking to another competition groomer about um, the level entries because I wasn't sure. It was my first time com competing, and it asks you if um, you want to, like, which level you enter in. It, it was, I think it was an intermediate, um, entry level, and then open, maybe? I could be wrong. Um, but so I messaged her and I asked her, you know, what she thought and she was like, well, honestly, your dog has too much color as it is already to put her in that class. Why don't you try creative grooming? And she told me that, um, a new thing that they're starting to do is the, uh, up and coming creative. So I was extremely nervous and I had never done anything you know creative especially competition wise I've never really competed besides my one rescue rodeo that I did and um, so I entered it entered her and it took me like a week because it asked me it asked me what uh, the name of my design was and I had no idea and I kept coming up with, you know, Skittles because her neck was rainbowed. And then after that, um, come on. And then after that, she, um, she became, you know, Skittles and I was able to do all of her cords and colored. So that's how she got fully colored cords. Um, but she's done. Let's put her back up here. Hi, big girl. Here's her vampire teeth. <laughs> you lay down. Okay, lay down this way. Over here. What a good girl. Okay, I got... You want to hold this for me real quick? Oh, get her little pillow. I rolled that up so well. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, you got to Okay, it's Lily, Lily, say hi. Say hi. Here, we can show her cords real quick. So, this is her disaster. For some reason, the hairs on top, they're really wiry, and they don't like to cord too well. Um, I really don't know why that is. The softer, curlier hair, you know, the more poodle-like hair, I mean, yes, she is a poodle. She's not mixed, but for some reason she's got this wiry hair. Um, but this other hair cords very nicely. Um, and again, she has other dogs here in these cords. Um, but here's another example of them when they grow together and they split, they transfer hair to each other. Um, but yeah, you can see it's not tight to the skin. It's all very loose. I could probably fit a, you know, slide my comb through every single one of these. I make sure the tip of her tail can be seen. Where is it? 
right there. Doop. So we don't cut no circulation off. You really want to be careful with that. <clears throat> All right, princess. Down. Hey, now. Good girl. Good girl. All right, so some of these did slide a little bit. So, oh, it's a party one. Okay. All of these are looking really good. Head down. Down. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry, Lily. We gotta lay on this side. This side. My lighting's better over here. I'm gonna band these up. She's almost smoky. She knows. As soon as she's done with her bath and everything, she struts her stuff. Uh, Andrea loves her. <laughs> Honestly, she, I could not have asked for a better dog. She is the daughter that I never gave birth to. <laughs> Tiffany wants to know if you've tried clean saran wrap versus uh, foil. Okay, so I have not. I have not. But I I heard press and seal saran wrap is like every creative groomer's dream come true. I have not yet to try it, but I heard that it's one of the best things you can use is the saran wrap. It's clear. You can see through it. Um, I just, every time I go to the store, I forget, I don't go to the store often. Um, my husband and I, we do the meal prep stuff where they send you food so you don't have to shop for it. Honestly, I recommend that, especially if you have a busy schedule. We haven't been to the grocery store in forever. Oh. Tiffany's currently using the press and sale. Oh, nice. Post some photos in the comments, or maybe even a video if you want to make one. No, no. Tiffany says, I have five kids at the store almost daily. <laughs> oh boy yes good for you mom Greg, cow. Greg prefers foil who? your husband my husband mm -hmm. it's because we've never tried <laughs> the other stuff I'm going to turn the AC down a little bit Take a nap, princess. She's so pretty. And witty and right. Okay, so I think we're at. Let me make this one yellow so I can do this one green. Yeah, green it is. Man, I, Greg, get some press and seal for me, please. All right, Tiffany says she doesn't know how to post a pic here, but I posted Flora in the Opaz group with her recently done pink leopard spots. Oh, nice. Okay. I'll have to check that out. Thank you. 
Have you guys gotten your um, Opaw's uh, Halloween creative done yet? Um, Ruben Rios wants to know, did you prep the hair before applying the dye? Did I what? Prep the hair before applying the dye. Um, so I bathed her on Monday. Um, that's pretty much it. I didn't. I did the um, the cord splitting in the beginning of the video. So when the live is over, if you missed that, you can rewatch it. Um, that's the only prepping that I did. And uh, if you don't, so something that I I learned last week when I dyed her lips. Um, hold on. Let me finish this green, and then I will show you. I, uh, now Lily here, she's not a very dirty dog. She is very prissy. She don't like to get dirty. I'll bring her to the river. I have to almost force her to get in the water. She is not a normal dog. She is definitely a look at me, I'm beautiful dog. She knows it and she struts it. Um, dirt is not her thing. So I colored her without um, washing her hair. Now I do bathe her once a week, sometimes bi-weekly. Uh, it all depends on my busy schedule, but I do try to get her at least bathed every other week, if not weekly. And um, I hadn't bathed her in probably a week and a half or so and I just applied the dye because having to wash color then you know wash again technically not really you just, you're just supposed to rinse it out but she didn't have a bath so I would have washed her again the hair so because get up, get, get up for a second thank you <laughs> So this w did really good, but then when you get to her green, it's yellow at the base. And it's yellow at the base because the hair was oily there and it wasn't, it wasn't washed. It was dirty. This is dirty. It was done on dirty hair. So that's what I got in the result of not prepping the dog properly before dying. Um, but we're just going to hide that. And whoever is not watching will never know. Whoop. Right down. Down. Good girl. Here. So I hope that helps and answers your question. Two. So in 13 minutes, guys, I'm going to wrap this up and we'll do her rinsing process. Thank everybody again for tuning in. I started off really nervous. Ruben says thank you as well. Who? Ruben Rios. Oh, anytime. Well, yeah, I'm not nervous anymore. I don't know why I'm so nervous. <laughs> you guys are like my family. That's all I know. <laughs> and um, I was also thinking about her top knot maybe not being rainbow. I was thinking about doing charm pink on the top knot. 
I'm really nervous though because again, once the color's in, it's in. We got lots of thank yous coming across now. So. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you for your thank yous. <laughs> Wiping my hand. I wish I was faster. I'm sure we all wish we were a little faster. But it's very time consuming. My husband, I normally force him to help me. He said he's probably going to um, disagree with that. I'll let you know when. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he's a big help, too. I depend on him a lot. He's my number one fan. What color should I go here? She got yellow, purple, blue, orange, green, and red. It's going to have to be red. When? <laughs> this is Greg. Yeah. So the next show is in November. I forget the exact dates. I have to look. It's a number one fan undisputed. <laughs> He's so sweet. But um, in November, you guys, um, if anybody's coming to the November show, you guys got to stop by and say hi if you see me. I should be there uh, all three, four days, however long it is. We will be competing, and I am. I was invited to be part of Pittsburgh Brew Team, so that's really exciting too. I don't know, do you guys want to see me rinse these out? I was thinking Honestly, I have the rest of the day. I have nothing else to do today. Well, I got a, I got a dog that's boarding that needs a haircut, but he ain't going home until tomorrow. So, um, I really want to do more coloring, but it's just I know it takes so long. Um, I was thinking maybe we can just um, cut the live short. I can finish, you know, this process. And then I can maybe not do live again, but I can record the rinsing process and post it. Um, I can post a link or whatever in the comments later. Lisa Hansen wants to know how long do they process? Um, I like to do, I like to wait honestly 30 to 45 minutes, but it only takes 20 minutes to process. But um, the longer they sit, the more vibrant colors you get. So, and um, the whole cording process is a little different than. Um, brushed hair because you really want to get the cord saturated um, with the foils. Uh, the foil just, you know, I put a lot extra on the foil so it kind of soaks it in more. 
Um, and that way, the longer the longer it sits, the more I guess absorbed it gets. <laughs> Um, he totally lost my process of thought. <laughs> what color am I doing here? Yellow or uh, eh, eh, green. All right, Andrea says whichever you prefer is okay. And thank you very much for this. She's enjoying it so much. Got it? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, honestly, I don't know. I can pour. I can pour. I can dial the. Yes, just choose the way you feel comfortable. I agree. That's whatever you prefer. Um, maybe you should ask Billy what she wants to do. Uh, she don't want to get a bath. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I do have to warn you guys. When I bathe her, she looks so depressed. <laughs> but she's very good for that too. She is so loyal. Bethany Anita Pate says, I'm constantly losing my train of thought, lol. Like, um, did I do that? Foot's nails or trim the butthole. <laughs> Got the whole groom room watching. Oh, thank you guys. You know, it's funny though, too, because I will stay up at night because I can't sleep thinking, oh my god, did I cut those nails? Did I shave that sandy? Did I get the ear hair? And it haunts you. It really does. I think I'm just going to leave it alive. You guys are going to just have to hang in there with me. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Doing Hear it that, Lily? She's doing it. Doing it together. Okay, I need... I hate deciding what colors. Purple? Yeah, purple would be good. Purple, and then we can do... Blue here. Yellow. Okay. Man, I really want to try that press and seal now. Can you hold that flat? There we go. Jackson is gonna go get you some. Yes, pronto, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Supposed to be working. He's been on here since it started. Oh, I bet he has. Number one fan. Hey, hey. Uh huh. <laughs> My ride or die. So again, these hairs, these cords that I am coloring now, the full white ones, they have not been trimmed 
if I did the floating, which was, which is um, honestly the best thing you can do for cords. It's just letting them soak in, in the tub. Um, I wouldn't have to trim them. They would look like they would be trimmed automatically without having to do it if they're floating. But since we are not doing floating, these hairs, when I trim them, it would all come off. Because unfortunately it's not matted at the tips. See, none of this is, is matting. So when I would trim it, it would just trim off. So that's why I haven't trimmed it yet because it's a lot of length. If you think about it, that's half her cord. I mean, not this one. I mean, that's, you know, an inch. And again, the top knot and the ears take forever to start to mat. Which doesn't make any sense to me because all your dogs that you have um, client-wise, one of the only things that are matted on them most of the time are the ears and tail. Why? <laughs> it's taking, you know, somebody that wants the controlled matting forever for the those areas to mat. But, you know, clients, dogs, they all day long they come in like that. It's crazy. You're good. This one was just kind of fat. Andrea agrees. She says, so true. So true. It is. I guess, okay, so what I can do for you guys while her cords are soaking in the color is, oh, so real quick, Lisa Hansen says, so are you saying not to trim tips of cords? I mean, I, I do, I did on her other cords, um, just when they got longer, um, these aren't the let's pull one up so if I trim this it's gonna cut off about that much length so I'm only gonna have that much cord when these cords are already this full length so these are trimmed I shave them with my 30 blade um, so it automatically has like I haven't done it since June so I mean they're a little fuzzy now but they'll eventually you know look like that once I trim them again, but I'm, I really don't want to trim them again. I really want to try soaking them. I know Opaz has a jacuzzi tub that I really want to get, but it's a little out of my price range at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys want to post a link of that jacuzzi tub in the comments in case anybody else can afford it, do that. Cause it is like a dream come true of mine to have one of those. But um, maybe I'm, maybe your number one fan will <laughs> work on that for you. Oh, that'd be a you know nice birthday gift. But so um, to, as I'm saying though is if I trim the tips now, the cords would be too short for my personal liking. Uh, but you can trim the tips if you want. What color was I doing? Purple. Honestly, thinking about doing my own hair in this purple.
Now, Andrea put the link up for the tub. Oh, yes. It's such a beauty. Nano Bubble Spa Tub. Yes. How much is it? I think it's like 3000 something. Andrea, how much is it? Oh, it's only six thousand. Oh, six thousand. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> you know, it's. It, I bet it's worth every penny of it, though. Cause people are like, with my Chris Christensen brush, she paid sixty. So oh, you know, technically only five thousand nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Free shipping. Um. Like I was saying, I have, you know, brushes and combs that are very expensive. I have an $80 comb, $65 comb. I got an $80 brush, a $60 brush. I mean, every cent spent on those tools were worth every penny. So, I mean, Lily deserves a $6,000 tub. I know my my number one fan is hearing that right now. Pretty sure thing to you is. Ooh. You hear that, Greg? Free shipping. We can even keep it in our garage, too, so I don't use it on client dogs. <laughs> It'd be Lily's personal tub. I'm doing yellow here. Christmas is coming, Greg. He's laughing. <laughs> Honestly, I'd probably try it out myself before I let any of the other dogs get in it. <laughs> it's true though, my dog's hair looks better than my hair on any given day. I'll uh, make her look good before I make myself look good when we go out in public. Greg, I'm bringing Lily. Come on. I gotta brush her out. I gotta put these gems on. <laughs> you said the jacuzzi too. <laughs> oh. I love this yellow. Yellow is so vibrant. What is it? I think it's gorgeous yellow. Oh, glorious. It's beautiful. I just love yellow. I think it's my favorite color. <laughs> Such a happy color. It really is. Fades the fastest. I'm going to do these last ones, and then while she's soaking in the color, um, I'll split the rest of her cords for you. Okay, what color am I doing? So I got yellow, green, red, orange, blue, purple. That's all the colors. I'm going to do... It's going to be green.
Even though green's right there. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. I try. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I try not to get the colors to be next to each other. But it is what it is. It's still going to look awesome. <laughs> so my husband knows this all too well if you look at the time right now I'm already 10 minutes past the time I said I was going to stop but I just can't help myself five more minutes is always an hour later Look how clean my gloves are still. Again, coloring quartz is so much easier than brushed hair. And also, I believe you can buy um, these colors that I'm using in a kit, um, like a color kit. They have they have them all priced in one, and that's where I got these. I can't stop thinking about that jacuzzi tub. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know why. I just, I, I just want it for myself. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. We're gonna do. We're just right here. This is supposed to be red. Alright, Lynn just posted the link for the full color value pack. So. Oh yes, the value pack. That was the word I was looking for. 18 colors, one dilution cream and one isolation cream. I'm gonna go switch sides. Uh -huh. She needs you. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, Katie. I'm sorry. color bracelets how long will I set them the corded bracelets um, well I, I personally like to wait you know 30 to 45 minutes honestly after you dye the hair forget about it and then just you know let your dog be a dog and lay down or throw a ball whatever um, wrap it and uh, after you foil it since it's on the legs um, I would go ahead and wrap it in vet wrap uh, that way it stays in place while they're running or doing whatever but you know you don't 
You don't want them laying on the table the whole time to let it soak. Um, you want them to enjoy them, especially if you have a more energetic dog. My dog literally just lays down all day long. Um, her her bed is in the <laughs> photo booth room, and she just lays there all day. And it's funny, too, because every time she gets out, she'll track these little fake leaves all over her. Um, well, she's a good girl. She'd rather sleep all day than do anything at all. I'm going to see if I can prop this up so maybe... I can't, guys. I'm sorry. Hold on. My assistant will be right back. But while these are soaking, I can split these. It doesn't take long. Um, and then we'll rinse them out. The rinsing process doesn't really take that long, but you just got to make sure you rinse them thoroughly. And when you dry them, there is no dye on the towel because um, if they're wet and they lay down on furniture or anything, um, you will have dye transfer from, from the hair to whatever they lay on. And that's with um, brushed hair or corded hair. You have to make sure it is rinsed out. Did you see the message from Lisa Hansen? About the like, corded bracelets? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that. And I, I guess it all depends on how thick your cords are too and how much dye you're using. Opos takes to the color, or Opos takes to white hair very fast and easy. So you really don't need much. Um, I'm sorry, my foil isn't as long as this board is. Doing my best here. But you see how like saturated that is? On the fatter cords, I try to use more dye so it uh, soaks up more. Because these cords are like sponges, they absorb everything. Just like a mop. One, two, three. I'll just do these three and then I'll move on. Um, let's do this one first. I'm doing this one in green. No, I want this one to be orange. I can't do it in green. Orange. Purple. Uh, guys, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. If I had more colors, it wouldn't be so hard to figure out which color I wanted to use next. Because I won't have all the colors so close together. But we're doing orange here. Are we though? Are we? Are we? I see yellow, red, blue. This boy's a fatty. And Anastasia's watching. She says hello. Hello, Anastasia. I hope you're enjoying your day off. You're missing out on all the fun today. That's okay. You can help me later. So this is the last I'm going to do the orange, so I'm just going to apply, apply it directly to the cord.
want to make sure you don't see any white, just like dyeing brushed hair. Alright guys, we're coming to the final two. And then we'll do some cork splitting, and then we'll do some rinsing. Yeah, there's a red right there. Oopsie. I just dropped a whole splat on the This is the last one. How long are we in? Two hours, 22 minutes. Nice. Yes. Do you see how many foils she's got in in two hours and 22 minutes? Not very many. These are all the colors that we use today. I don't really know what way the rainbow goes. You get this one. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. <laughs> Red, orange, black, green. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I got the colors. I don't know if they're in the right order. But there you go. Um, 
Lily is still relaxing. Peekaboo. Hi, princess. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just take these out real quick. All right, Yusa Hansen, but I have to black my black dog's cords first to do this, and with what? Product? Oh, you're she. So she's saying she has black cords. Uh, so like, where she had the bleach them before coloring them? Yes, it's uh, technically it's not called bleaching in the dog world. It's just lightening. So you do have to get the lightener cream. Um, I believe I have. Lightning cream. I think there's like a two. Yes, two steps. There's a developer two for it. Um, I honestly have never used it yet, so I can't. I don't really have advice on that. But Olapaz also makes this isolation color um, cream. Um, I said that backwards, but whatever. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a heavy conditioner. You put it on the hair that you don't want color. Um, just close that mess. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take all the rubber bands out. You want you want to be able to rinse it quickly. Um, I don't need my gloves anymore. So we probably got about, mm, I guess, 45 done. <coughs> I don't know. But it's going to look awesome. Just look in here. Look. Look at it. Okay. So when I do her splitting, I like to do it in layers. Really? Really? Can you lay down over here, please? Oh. I know, you've been nipping. I'm just going to turn her. <laughs> so, now that she's on her side, I just pull them all up. So, I do shave around the cords with a 30 blade. Just to kind of help separate it, um, it helps a lot. So what I'll do is I'll just separate the cords like this, and then just go down the line. And anybody who has a corded dog, they know when I say splitting is satisfying. You just hear the tear; it's just like, ah, I like it. No, it's just bringing stuff in. Okay. Well, you can see where the hair grows together. Um, it's just matting. If you let your dog mat, um, or if client's dogs mat, you know, it, if you don't do anything with it, it just continues to grow. It gets thick. Your the skin gets pulled into it. Um, Oh. What? Oh, sorry about that. I hit a button. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. But this process, I literally do it almost every day. Um, when we lay in bed at night, I do it the most. Then, um, she just lays her head on my chest and I pull it apart. I don't even look at it. I just close my eyes pretty much and do it. You just gotta feel for it. Again, it's a lifestyle. Yang said there's a tutorial that's interesting to see also. Recording. Um, well, yeah, recording. There is a tutorial? Mm-hmm. Anytime I see any dirt or debris, I try to pull that out you really want your cords to be clean. 
she does have some breakage. It's okay. We're not showing her or anything like that. She don't have to be perfect. She's perfect already. But this um, doing it, it's almost like if you have a dog with, you know, this much brushed hair, you're going to want to do it in layers. You can't just throw your brush on it and, you know, assume you got all of the knots and tangles. No, you're going to want to get in there and do it in layers. Um, think about it like your own hair. When you straighten or curl your hair, you do it in layers so you don't miss. Same with dogs. Try to This isn't something that's uncomfortable for them either. If she was uncomfortable, she wouldn't lay here. She would definitely be trying to get up, trying to move. I definitely wouldn't be doing a live video um, with that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I don't remember what time the last cord went in, color-wise. Uh, maybe about 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whenever we're done with this, um, we'll go ahead and print. Sherry Brandt is watching. Oh. That's at Greg's. Yeah, that's Greg's mom. Hi, Sherry. She said, my awesome daughter-in-law is so talented. I agree. Thank you guys. Bless you. It's probably hard to see it from there. I'm about to okay, so we're at halfway. Up. Let's get up. I'm gonna come on. We gotta do the other side. Up. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. Gotta get oh. the belly on. Time out for belly rubs. Belly rub time. Alright. Be a lady. Okay. So, there we go again. So I, and you can see how long it's grown since June. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's a lot of growth. And again, I haven't cut her since June, so she is a hairy mess. And if you keep up with this every day, I haven't split them since Monday after her bath because I wanted something to show you guys. Um, and even so, it's not much, but you really don't want you don't want it to overgrow because then it can be painful and you don't want that. This is a bonding experience for, you know, you and your dog. And again, if you look, let me get a clean line here. So if you see the roots on every single cord, it's not matted to the skin. It has plenty of room to breathe. You want the hair to be able to breathe. All of this, I can stick my comb right through it. getting through, I would be figuring out right now why I couldn't get the comb through. You want that skin to be loose, or the matting to be loose from the skin. 
if it is not loose, it will be very um, irritating for your dog. And uh, they'll be scratching a lot. Um, so this is what I was talking about with the growth, or the color will transfer. Not color, but the hair. They, the, the hair shares back and forth between cords. Um, but anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the, like yes, the, the matting. The skin. <clears throat> um, it can cause sores. Um, which is, you know, never good. You want the skin to be able to breathe. And also dirt can cause them to itch. Every time they itch, they, um, it damages the hair, the cords. And you'll have breakage, like, you know, like this. I mean, she has it. She gets itchy every now and then. But it's not because they're too tight. We all itch and scratch our heads sometimes, you know. Didn't take long to do this, but you should do this before and after getting them wet. You want to do it before because when you, well, obviously when you wet a mat, it gets tighter. So you don't want to have to rip any more than you're already ripping. And when I'm ripping, I just mean like rip the rip the hairs apart. Um, and when you when you split the cords, you you have fuzz. Now when you get the fuzz wet, the fuzz is supposed to wrap around again. Not as good as it would be if you were soaking the hair in a tub, but um, just you just want to do it before and after. <laughs> it helps a lot. It makes them look better. Um, but they look the best when they are float, when they do float. <laughs> you want to get in the tub? Are you ready? I did rush her out um, before we started because I don't like getting tangled hair wet. Lily. You want a bath? Bath? No? He's like, no. <laughs> to prevent the uh, color from transferring from the rinsed hair to the white hair. Um, but conditioner works if you want to condition, put conditioner on, you know, the hair that you don't want colored. It, it helps like an isolation cream. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to go in and rinse it. And hopefully it doesn't bleed. <laughs> Sorry um, if my dog looks depressed while I do this. <laughs> she hates it. She's going to go hide in the corner. Lily. Pretty girl, where are you? Come over here, baby. Lily. Okay, so what I like to do... I like to leave the foil on when I put the water up to it. I think it helps with the runoff, but I'm not 100% sure. I just think it does. Sit down, baby. Go girl. So, I just start pulling.
Look how beautiful these colors are. Like I said, it looks just like it did when I applied it. The color really doesn't run out. Or fade out when you rinse it. I'm sorry if the lighting's not so good over here. Can you see okay? Mm -hmm. Some of these double tin foils are on there. All right, Tiffany says, no concerns about the dyes intermingling during the rinse. I am so paranoid. I'm always so paranoid. What are you paranoid about? The dyes intermingling with each other. Oh, um, I worry about it, but I've never done anything to prevent it. Um, so it's pretty much just a worry that I ignore. <laughs> But as you see, the dyes are bleeding into each other. Look at the yellows. The yellow would be the color that we'd be most cautious about. I'm sorry, baby. Ooh, I know the side one. It's so small. I like a baby hair. So. She don't like to get wet. Oh, look at that. They're beautiful. Hold on. She got a spoil. I'm sorry. There's another one around the green one, too. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, there's two. Hold on. Here we go. So it may be me rinsing while I pull them out, uh, or what am I saying, maybe um, leaving the foil on while I rinse uh, prevents them from bleeding. Uh, to be honest with you, I really don't know, but I haven't had a, I haven't had a problem with them bleeding with each other, or blending, or these are the ones that we did today. They're beautiful, guys. They turned out really well. I do like to rinse for a couple minutes. Sorry if the light's not the best. Now that the foils are gone, it doesn't look like I did much at all. <laughs> what have I been doing for the past two and a half hours? Yeah, but then when you see all the foils in the tub. I know. That's a lot of foils. I'll count them, and if you guys can guess how many, I don't know, I have nothing to give. <laughs> I put my stickers. Free shipping. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So if you guys want to guess how many, I guessed what, 45? Look at her tail. There's 54 on her tail. So it doesn't look like many, but there's 54. All uh, right, I think we're good. So the way to test to see if you got our color out, oops, that's to grab a towel. The green says 67. 67, all right, all right. Stay in this, Lily. Lily. Stay down, 
going to keep doing this for probably about another five minutes. And I'm going to dry her up. Um, steam pot says 59. 59. Man, I'm really curious now, too. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I'm really thankful that you guys came to watch. I'm going to finish rinsing her and then dry her on the foils. And um, I will post some pictures after she's dry um, of the course that we did today. All right, thank you guys. I have no idea how to end. There you go. Yep.